Hi Gemini, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your love reading for the month of November. We're going to just see what's happening next in love for you. I hope this video finds you well. You guys are safe and healthy and happy and living your best life. <laughs> okay, if you are new to the channel, if you are returning, I am so grateful for you. Welcome. Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for entrusting me to be of service to you. Um, it, I'm truly a, a grateful. I just appreciate it tremendously okay and also shout out to those of you who support the channel over and over and over again it's just i have no words sometimes so thank you um all right let's get into your reading please keep in mind this reading will not resonate with every single person just take it how it resonates do not force it okay could be for a cross watcher if it sounds like it's for your love interest just flip the roles they tend to flip um, you know, sometimes the guide, your guides, your spirit guides want you to understand something about the other person, vice versa. That's why the roles can flip sometimes. It just depends, okay? <coughs> Alright, Gemini, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source with messages of love. What do you have for Gemini in the month of November? What's happening next in love for them? Give them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. Alright, one more shuffle. This is for Gemini in love for November. What's next in love? Make it clear, make it plain. Okay. All right. What's happening next? Gemini, you have ooh, the strength card. That's Leo energy. Your advice is wood. The tower. Okay. Underneath that, at the bottom, you have the four of cups. Okay. So there is some mm, <clears throat> dissatisfaction. be bored could have some regret could feel like you're missing out on something a missed opportunity are you evaluating i don't know we'll see we'll find out why that four of cups is the underlying energy but in the meantime for november what's happening next is the strength card that is a leo card it also is a card that represents bravery and strength having courage being strong determined taking action so why does gemini have this strength card okay the empress in reverse the king of cups Ooh, scorpio libra what is the energy of the strength card five of wands Perhaps you need love. Are you in need for love? You're struggling. There's some conflict here. Why is this five of wands? Are you having conflict? Or you're conflicted? Why the five of wands? The high priestess. Hmm. Why the high priestess? Are you trying to listen to your intuition and you're not able to? It could be, um, you could be dwelling on the negative, right? Sometimes our thoughts, our energy field, it's filled with thoughts of the, ne the negative that we don't even hear our intuition. It's like all the negative thoughts just like come, like here's our intuition, here are negative thoughts. Like they just come and just, you know, cover it up, engulf it, and it's like we can't even see. It's like our receptors are not even working. 
Why is this King of Cups here? Seven of Cups, Four of Wands. Are you confused about... You're, you're confused about a relationship? I think you want love from this relationship. I think you need it. Um, maybe it's not giving you everything you want. But you have some feelings involved here. King of Cups. Or you could be dealing with the water sign, but... Mm, what's the energy of that King of Cups? The Strength card. Why do I feel like that's your energy? Like, you have feelings here. Why is the Four of Wands? Why did the Four of Wands come out? Like, do you think someone is your soulmate? Or you're trying to figure, like, is this person my soulmate? Confused. Not, you like, you're not really sure. Like, uncertain. The Knight of Swords... But you're pursuing this still, right? Is that what you're doing? Why the Knight of Swords? The Devil? Mm. You could be uh, stuck or very attached to this person. Why the Five of Cups? Um... Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now she could represent so many things. I'm going to pull another card, but like she could be jealous. She could be suspicious. Um, like stuck. Like in a rut though. Um, she could be a person who doesn't trust. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Okay, the Two of Cups. So are you... Mm, I'm not getting a lot of confidence. I think that's ultimately what I'm seeing. I feel like you want love. You have feelings, but is the concern that you can't really tell if this person is the one? You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of get that. Like, if this is your soulmate, why is the devil card here? But you're still pursuing it? You're still going after it? Why is the devil card here? Page of Pentacles reverse. Excuse me. Let me push these over here. Ace of Swords with the Lovers. That's you. Why the Lovers? There's that Four of Cups again. Underlying Energy. Like, I don't know. It's almost like you need advice. Do you need advice? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know. Why do I, I feel like at the same, something is not moving. Like there's a lack of progress. It's like, it's not moving forward in a way that you want. But are you... Are you having some regret? I, have a, I feel like there's a lot going on here, but I think that this is everything you focus on. Like the two of cups in the reverse. That's like a breakup. That's, um, that's like inequality. Like it could, this could be one-sided. You feel like it's one-sided. Maybe you feel like it's just me. Like I'm the one who feels the strongest. I'm the one who puts in all the effort. Like, I'm the one trying to make this work.
But there's something... There's something here about... <clears throat> Like a soulmate, sorry. Sorry for the silence. What's the energy of that Knight of Swords? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you're still pursuing this with the World card. I think you're still pursuing it without really knowing if this is like the one for you. Like you're still confused about this person. Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> You're still confused. Like, there's suspicion here, but the Five of Cups, you could be dwelling too much on the negative. Like, I'm I'm surprised the Nine of Swords didn't come out because that's like overthinking. I feel like you're, you're overthinking. You know what I mean? It's like a lot of focused on what could go wrong. And it's clouding your judgment. It's clouding you, your mind, right? Why is the Seven of Swords reversed? The Death card. Transformation, endings. What's the energy of the Seven of Swords reversed? The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. <sighs> it's like, you could like want help. You know what I mean? You could be seeking advice. You could be asking people like, you know, if this person does this, you know, should I still deal with them? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we just need a second opinion. Which is fine. But I think the reason why you can't is because you're conflicted and you're not hearing your intuition. So let's get your advice because I, I, sort of, I feel like you're just confused whether this person is the one even though you're still pursuing it. I don't, I get kind of, I don't know, like you feel like you're doing more or, or you feel like you feel stronger. Because I don't really get one sided here. Or you want them to do more, to feel more? Like, do you want this person to be hung up on you? Like, hold, you know what I mean? I'm kind of getting that as well. Like, I need them to really want me. I need them to really desire me and, and long for me. And I think that's where, like, if you don't have that, it feels as if you're the only one because you feel this way. Like, I adore this person. I, I care so much about them. I want them so bad. But they they don't display that they feel the same way. And so you're unfulfilled. Because even I get here emotionally unfulfilled with with the Four of Cups. That's like you're dissatisfied here with the Ace of Cups. You know, like how things are starting, how things are going, the emotional part of it. All right, so let's get your advice. That's... Like, here's like, I don't know, like, do you fear they're going to walk away from you or break up with you? I'm not getting, you're very confident here. A lot of conflict, conflicted. You're conflicted within your own mind. Confused. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I think y'all know what I'm saying. But you feel it. Here's the King of Cups. Like, straight up, you feel, this is how you feel. The King of Cups is very emotional. Um, but in a good way, a very loving way, very gentle, very kind. And I'm not, I'm not sure you, you are getting this from that person. All right, so your advice is the tower, okay? All right, the tower, the foundation crumbles. There's a disruption. There's an abandonment. Maybe you learned something 
all of a sudden, right? Um, let's see what this says. The Tower as advice. Make a drastic change. Burn it down. Throw out what no longer is working. Liberate yourself. Okay. This is also Scorpio energy. You had some Scorpio energy um, in the last spread. All right, so why why the tower? Mm. The Knight of Cups in the reverse is all about no movement. It's like avoiding and pra procrastinating. Why the Knight of Why the Knight of Cups reverse? Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse? The yeah, there's that there's that low lack of self confidence. The Six of Wands in the reverse. Oh, Gemini. What is the energy of that tower though? You're going to have to do something different. I feel like you lack self-esteem, lack self-confidence. Um, I don't I don't know if it's just in general or with this person specifically. Like this kind of feels like a person who needs validation, who needs extreme emotion like you need depth like you need passion like I need to know that you like are obsessed with me it it doesn't have to be that extreme but that's kind of what I feel in this reading why is the sun there Why is the sun there? And I, you may not be seeing things, you know what I mean? You might not be seeing things as they truly are. Okay, there's a tower again. Why the tower? Oh, wow, you have like repeated cards. Hmm. Why is the Four of Cups here? Knight of Wands, Five of Wands. Yeah, I'm just getting you. You're not happy. Like, you're not satisfied with what is being presented to you. Give me the energy of this tower. You know what I mean? That's what I, I see here. Oh, Gemini. Look, the wheel, the wheel in reverse, the stars in the reverse. This is like hopelessness. But it's it's coming from it's coming from an outside thing. It's not coming from within. I think this person I don't know. I, I kind of feel like they aren't as one it's not as one sided as it as you think it is. Why the Two of Swords? The Page of Swords. Oh, yeah. Gemini, you're so really unsure. And I think it's because this person is probably not... Maybe some of you are used to people falling all over you. And I, I mean this respectfully. You know, it's like you're used to a certain level of attention and love. And you know what I mean? Like, most people are probably always on you tough calling you all the time and this person is probably not doing that and so you're like what's up you know what I'm saying you're questioning the validity of their feelings so I'm not really seeing so what's the advice here ace of wands in the reverse Why the Ace of Wands reverse? Why the Ace of Wands reverse? Yeah, I feel like Spirit is saying like 
back off. <laughs> not not like that. <laughs> like, you know, the Ace of Wands could be like not taking the initiative, okay? Maybe even like pull back some because I think even something in your past, but I think this is you dwelling so much on the negative. Hmm. It feels like self, like you're, you're, you're focused on yourself and how you feel. And maybe you don't really see like the this person's efforts or what they're doing. Like maybe not focus on them. You know what I mean? Like don't really focus on them. I mean, you could be spying on them. I just, you're juggling uh, Gemini. I'm just getting pride too. Lack of confidence, a lot of pride. Because I honestly, I just think you're used to receiving a certain amount of uh, attention. You know, you're used to people doing, and this person is not really doing that. Like they may, they may be presenting a person you're not used to dating or being with. And this is like shaking you up. It's like you're shook. But this is it's a teachable moment, right? This is a, like a lesson to, you know, focus on yourself. You don't have to focus on this person. I'm sure you have other things that you could be doing versus does this person, is they are they into me? Yeah, they should show some level of interest, right? If I'm going to be investing time, they should show some level of interest, right? But the energy I get from this reading it seems obsessive, like, I need them to be obsessed with me. I want them to long for me and, like, you know, if I walk out the door, I, I want them to be, like, crawling after me. Again, it doesn't have to be that extreme, but that's kind of, the, the energy is along that those lines. Like, I need them to call me and text me. I need them to do these things. Like, frequently. <laughs> you know, take the initiative. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. But I think that you should kind of back off because I feel like it's too much dwelling on this person and what's not happening. And, you know, you have your own life to live. Too much focus on what they're doing. Like, what they're doing does not validate who you are, you know? So what if they're not blowing you up every second? You're still you. You're still wonderful. You're still beautiful. Okay? Like, awesome. Fabulous. All those good things. You know who you are. You're still that great person. You're still this awesome individual. So, don't worry about their actions. Again, if they are showing no interest, then maybe you shouldn't worry about what they're doing. Maybe it's time to move on. You know, but if they are showing interest and it's not what you're used to, you know, maybe it's time to take a, take into account like, like self-love. <laughs> anyway, I can go on and on, but I think you get the gist of it, Gemini. You guys, good luck with this situation. Thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next week. Mwah. Deuces.